I can reboot Spider-Man, the amazing Spider-Man. I know many of you will disagree with my points and I understand and I respect all opinions, but I love this movie. So if you're ready for me to explain, sit down and enjoy the ride. Because my reason number one starts off with these scenes that just feel so emotional. They feel so personal and I just love every part about it. In the scene where Aunt May is comforting Peter from a distance while showing nothing but a face expression, a uh, face expression saying that it will be okay. And then the camera shows a loving mother saying goodbye to her child, struggling to let go. She knows that she may not make it back from the situation, which eventually comes to know as his parents died in a beautiful showing of just an Aunt May just gives Peter something that he had never had, a grandmother's love. The second scene that I think that felt so personal is when Peter goes home and discovers his dad's suitcase. It just hits so hard. Thank God for this soundtrack. And you can see the pain in his eyes when he's looking at something that reminded him of his dad. Aunt May and Uncle Ben are both hesitant to talk about the death of his parents, so Peter investigates. Uncle Ben rests his soul and tries to sympathize with Peter. Peter in a scene where everybody can relate. Many men went from teenage to working at no time. He was just trying to... And I understand know and come from a yes, sense right. of no it is not I know right. where you're at right now you don't know who you no, are but he just wanted Uncle Ben just wanted Peter to be a man that he was or better so the second reason of why I love this movie is Dr. Kurt Connors Kurt. he's just so iconic in this movie his role is in this movie is someone who takes control of his own future and became a scientist his mission was to get his arm back but he goes insane when he eventually comes down to earth and I mean that in both a metaphorical sense and a literal <laughs> sense he's such a driven man and someone who you would look up to who anybody would look up to who Peter looked up to then we're going to skip to the part of the movie where Peter is going to get some answers for his symptoms after he got bitten by the spider after him and snooping and being Detective Gadget. He ends up at Dr. Connors' house, in which they engage in a truly emotional scene between this Peter and Dr. Connors. They just talk about the events of his father and how it affected him, which was extremely deep and relatable. To Dr. Connors, his partner had left. He, had, he couldn't continue his work. He couldn't continue his dream. He was at his finish line. And then Peter gives Dr. Connors the one thing he always wanted. The one thing he needed. Peter sees this opportunity to turn this man's dream into a reality. And for the third emotional scene that just hits so hard for me was when Peter slammed the door at Uncle Ben's house. So Peter understandably gets angry. He storms off. He leaves the house and Uncle Ben falls after Peter. He stops to get some milk by a store clerk who's a dick and he gets robbed by a guy with a star tattoo on his wrist. And while everything seems to be fine, the robber thinks he's getting away, but not before he dropped his gun. And Uncle Ben tries to take it from him. And then he gets shot trying to be a hero and a hero that he wants Peter to be. Peter is in immediate shock as he's seeing his dying uncle bleeding out on the ground, crying, probably praying for this not to be true. How could this be true? So th this road is the road that Peter goes down to hunt this man down. And just it, It's not just a vendetta. He's seeking for redemption for directly influencing his uncle's death. So in his guilt, it takes up every part of his mind like a virus. So he picks up the identity of Spider-Man. And later the movie cuts to one of my favorite lines. Listen to me. Secrets, Secrets have a cost. cost. They're not free. Not, not ever, now. Ever. Not ever. Thank you for watching. If you made it all the way through, I just want to say um, it's been an amazing ride just watching this movie and just analyzing it for what it is. And this is just the first half. So if you really like my style of editing this type of video, please like and subscribe.